Hey, Balder. Well, hi. Good morning, Donald Faison. Thank you so much for joining us on the Balder BB Show. Thank you for having me. Oh, it's my pleasure. I want to let my guest, my audience know I have a returning guest, Donald Faison. He stars on TV's land, new original sitcom, The Execs, but he's hosting a new show on TBS, and he say he wants to know who gets the last laugh. Donald, tell us about your new show, Who Gets the Last Laugh. I will. First, I've got to correct you. The TV land show is called The X's, but it's all oh. good. That's right, the exit. You are correct <laughs> because there's more and more than just you. Right, and then, uh, and then, Last Laugh is a hidden camera show where three comedians battle it out, hidden camera style, to find out who gets the last laugh. Pretty much what that means is each one creates their own unique hidden camera prank, and they execute it on the public, and then brings it back to the show. And at the end of the show, the audience votes for their favorite. Uh, hidden camera prank, and the winner of Who Gets the Last Laugh receives $10,000 donated to their charity. Now, is this regular people who get to get behind the camera, or what? Tell me that. Well, celebrities that get behind the camera now, whereas before Punk would punked, it was, uh, you know, celebrities being pranked. Now it's celebrities pranking anybody and everybody. It doesn't matter where you are now. It doesn't matter who you are now. You are susceptible to being pranked. Okay, so uh, you, you mentioned punks, so I'll bring that in. Will these be nice pranks and funny pranks, kind of like Candy Camera used to be? I don't know how nice they are. I think, you know, I don't think, I, th I think all pranks have some form of, uh, uh, of, of mean-heartedness to them. But, uh, I, you know, there are some people who cry on the show. But I think that's what we want to watch, you know what I mean? We want to see people lose their stuff. I think we want to see people, you know get to the point where they're not in control anymore because when you're in control, it's not necessarily a prank. Uh, so it's, it's, it, I, I think we try to get people out of their comfort zone on uh, Last Laugh. That's our goal. Okay, so why do you want to do something that's going to make someone cry, not just make the audience laugh? Because it's so funny to watch people cry over things that they're not supposed to be crying about. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure someone obviously has done that to you. <laughs> I've never been pranked before, thank goodness. I've pranked a few people, and I know I got it coming. So, I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to prepare myself, but I don't think you can prepare, be prepared for a prank. Okay, so you're going to be hosting two. You, you've got two jobs going here like us regular people. I'm trying to make it happen. I got a kid <laughs> on the way. I got, a, I, you know, I got diapers to buy. That's right. You're going, congratulations. I heard thank you're you. going to be a new father. I am going to be a, a, a father again, yes. Again? Yes. Oh, I thought it was a new father. I am a new, I, I will be a new father to this child, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm hoping so. Well, you know, you could get a used kid, okay? No, but, that's true. You're absolutely right. Well, you're, you're, you're into so much. Where, are you happy in what you're doing? Are you happy in your career? I'm very happy right now. I think, you know... I, you know, you always want more. Everybody always wants more. That's that's just how it is. But where I'm at right now, um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very happy. I got love in my life. I got uh, work in my life. I got friends. I got family. You know, um, of course, there are always things that I wish could be better. But for the most part, yeah, I'm very happy right now. Well, you've had a, a pretty um, continuous career. You've worked pretty steady. Do you consider what we see in front of the camera as a career or a way to make a living or a job? Because I talked to Rita Moreno, and mm -hmm. if you know who she is, she's had a very long career. And I asked her, how do you do that? She said, because I get up every day and I do my job. It's a job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's all, it's, 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 it's all things you, three things that you said. It's, you know, it's a job. It's 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 fun, uh, and it's work. You know, and it's it's sincere work. You know, um, yeah. It it's all three things. It's it's it's. So how do you do it? How do, how you how have you stretched this out this long? Is my question. I don't know. I can't answer that. That's you know. That's I I don't know. I I come in. I put I put the work in when I do get there, and I try to prepare myself for when the time comes and stuff like that. But whether anyone likes it or whether whether people, 
you know, want to stay tuned or come back the next time is up to them. So a lot of it is a lot of it's luck. A lot of it is, you know, good fortune. A lot of it is uh, being paired, being prepared for the moment, too. That's great advice. Donald, when is your new show? Who gets the last laugh? When does that come on? It comes on Tuesday, April 16th, tomorrow at 10 p.m. 9 central. All right, then. On what network? TB, uh, yeah, TBS. <laughs> very funny. It's very funny. Well, we're, we're, we're going we're gonna to be the judge, obviously. So Absolutely. we'll be watching so we can be Please the judge of who gets the last laugh. Donald Faison, thank you for coming on and talking about it. Thank you I for really appreciate me. it. Thank you for having me. My pleasure and the best of luck. To you, too.